up first, very special members of our Armenian AYF community, the former AYF kings and queens. Give them a nice round of applause. Time for the chapters, and as is customary, last year's winners starting us off. And if you remember, for the first time in AYF Olympic history, we had a tie for first place. Here comes last year's first place champions, the Providence Varantian Heijan Kids, and our hosts from last year. The Green Machine. some new jerseys, the Philadelphia Cebu chapter. <laughs> Give it up for the Cebus, everyone, led by some of their future stars. Toronto Simon Zabayan chapter. Our gracious host for next year, the Washington DC Ani chapter. And next up, we have our friends all the way from the West Coast. And last but surely not least, our fantastic host this weekend, the Worcester Arab Chapter. <laughs> 
Thank you to our host for bringing it back to where it all began. Come on, everyone, give it up for the Worcester Adam chapter.
On behalf of the Bangladeshi Religious and Executive Council members, I would like to greet you all coming from East and West, North and South, to the Greater Worcester, the mother community on this hemisphere of the Armenian Church. I'm sure later the mayor is going to be a very fresh course. My dear brothers and sisters, here we are to celebrate the dynamics, the energetic spirit of Armenian Youth Federation. We are here to celebrate our oneness, our unity of this great federation. We are here today to refresh and renew our pledge to our founding father who believed in the sacredness of the homeland and in the mission of youth for all generations. Very sadly, we know that how in recent years that great and sacred vision of the founding father has been threatened by external enemies, but mostly by internal enemies. Nevertheless, here from Worcester, all of us, with one accord, we say, we are all Arsaf, we are all Sunni, we are all Arsafir, we are all Aramu, no matter what it costs. Nothing can separate us from our commitment, from our belief, from our aspirations. All of us, we know that few will carry the cups with them back to home. But let us all be filled with the greatest message of a legacy of 5,500 of Armenian spirit, which I believe that is refreshed in our lives. That's why take it with all understanding, love and joy, always singing a nice Armenian song which says, Sireng miyutyum, chaneng vadutyum, mishpak sarbaheng, A-Y-F Anu.
to change city, and there's more we can hear sooner than 50 years from now. So, you know, you know, you have these communities part of the fabric of the city of Worcester. The Arbeen people predate many of the largest ethnic groups in our city. The story of the Armenian people and the genocide is written to the history of our city. Generations ago, many of your family members said, Welcome to Booster. Our city was the first stop of thousands of Armenian families fleeing genocide. The city of Worcester was the home of the first Armenian church in the Western Hemisphere, not just in the country, but in the not half of the world. Your family spread across our country, first to Watertown, then to New York, New Jersey, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Detroit. They grew and became part of the shared history. I was proud to stand with your people to remember the 100th anniversary of the Jamaican genocide. We planted a tree with George and uh, in front of City Hall to remember so that future generations will never forget. Two years ago, I again stood with your community to protest the genocide in Karabakh by the Argentine majority. I'm pleased to stand with you again today in happier circumstances to recognize the contributions of your parents and grandparents and great-grandparents to me in the city of Worcester. This is a great event. We'll see you soon. Enjoy the activities. Enjoy our restaurants in downtown Worcester. Thank you.
first by my co-recipient, uh, uh, Dusty Carter at the church, and then by the rest of the community. It's just been a wonderful place for us to raise our family here. So uh, I was really happy to be able to participate in representing the Central Committee. Um, uh, but uh, if you look at my, my shirt and you listen to Sufferzan's message, you'll know that our people are in danger today. Our very existence is in danger. We have been faced with a monumental, monumental test to our commitment and our capacity for building, rebuilding, reshaping our future on the heels of what appears to be a devastating uh, tragedy. And they talk about the foundation of this very community based on that sort of uh, legacy of building. And that's what our grandparents did. That's what our parents have done. And now this is what we must do today. We cannot be overcome in despair. We don't have a right to leave the legacy of those that came before us unfulfilled. So I would just say that the AYF is the epitome of that. As you see, and I've already seen it in these few days, the wonderful fraternalism of our athletes, what they represent for our, our today and for our future. It is through them and with them, together, that we will overcome this. And there is no organization in this world better than the Armenian Youth Federation of this region. And I just want to say I'm, I'm so proud that they let me into their world.
good luck to all of our athletes and may the best team win. Yeah. 